Hey, good morning, dude. How did you sleep, buddy? I slept pretty poorly because Mr. Joe, the giraffe, forgot to pay the gas bill. And when there's no gas, there's no heat. So I don't want anyone to be like, Max, it's because you have it on cool. It's because I don't have any heat. Regardless, 59 degrees. Oh, if it was 10 more than that, it'd be 69. <laughs> Whoa! So the main issue without having gas is that you don't have any hot water. And unlike some of these freaks out there, I like to take hot showers. I like to scald my body uh, with the heat. In the past two showers, I have just, uh, because it's been ice cold, I've just been kind of like grabbing the water and putting it on me. But I figure, ha, why don't we just experience it together? See, look, I'll put this all the way on the left. It's still cold. Do I just go all the, do I just like all the way in or do I like put like just my leaner? No, okay. Oh, it's cold. Okay. Oh my. Wait, what? Excuse me? Are you asking me who I be on? Dude, you know how I feel about that. All I care for is a necklace, bitch. Don't ask me who I be on. I'm just trying to hit it with my Gucci on. Netflix and chill, put this movie on. I'm no wow, Max, I just want to say that I love how you incorporate new and hip TikTok references into your YouTube videos because it shows you're keeping up with the times. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Stop, you're making me blush. Stop, I know I'm cool. <laughs> okay, boomer. <laughs> All right, here we go. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. When I was a young boy, my father took me into the city to see a marching band. The leader of the uh, something. Uh, I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Max's life. Oh my gosh, YouTube, this responsibility is so easy to just juggle. It's so fun. I think we can add in something else, a social life. Whoa, juggling social life in YouTube is super easy. Oh my gosh, I think I'm ready for more stuff. You know what? I really want to be on all the apps and do YouTube and have a social life. I think that I can balance all of these things. You know, it's getting a little bit more difficult but I think we're ready to throw in something else. Let's start our own business. Ever forward, four things, okay? It's getting a little more stressful. 
but I think that I can still manage everything. Why don't we start working with some companies that we also need to deliver content for them as well? I think we can still manage everything. Why don't we start another company while we're balancing all these plates? It's gonna be easy, right? That is how I feel when people are like, Max, where's all the YouTube videos? It's because I can't properly juggle everything and I'm losing my mind. You're seeing me lose my mind on this YouTube video. Let me explain. That was a good clip. I thought, good thing the camera was I threw it. And it went boom. We clean this up? Yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I thought you were going to be like, hell no. <laughs> okay, so obviously that was an exaggeration. But the point that I'm trying to get across is as you add more plates to your day, into your life, more responsibilities, the older you get, the more like things you want to start doing, the less energy you have to give to each one of those plates like you once did. And if my videos are ever you know, a day or two behind, a week behind, it's because I'm trying to make sure that a lot of these plates that people are relying on me uh, to not crash, don't crash, right? So it's very important to me. And this year I'm trying to find a way to delegate and expand the team so I can be able to throw some of the plates a little higher than I'm currently doing right now because I'm disappointed in myself with the, the energy that I'm giving out because I'm spreading myself too thin and I think I'm spreading our team too thin. So for example, this is a kind of a breakdown of everything that goes into Everford, the clothing, from the warehouse to the administrative, to the social media, to the content. And it's just too much, there's too many things going on for me and Mona to do, for Mona to do. Mona's doing a ton of this and she's getting spread thin. So when you start adding more tasks and it's only Mona, right? She can't give equal energy to all these things, right? And she shouldn't have to. And I've been, a, 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 I think, a bad boss, whatever you want to call me, because I'm like, hey, Mona, can you just kind of handle all these things? Because I have sour strips. I have to make YouTube videos. I have to go run around, act like a jackass, make people laugh, right? And I'm realizing now that 2020, I need to expand the team. And that's why I brought Oz on. So now he can focus on the content. We need to bring someone on to focus on the social media, to start finding more influencers. Because a lot of my focus, this is like my, my, my task board, uh, is now into the sour strips, which is a blessing. Like it's, it's, I'm not like mad that it's doing so well, but it's taking up, this is everything. I'm doing everything. Like the first three years of ever four that I was running by myself before I brought Mona on or three or four years, I'm doing all of that like now by myself. And I should learn from my mistake of juggling too much and bring that into sour strips and just understand as we grow, as we juggle more plates, I'm doing my best. So I know most people can like understand if videos are delayed or whatever. And I feel like every video is just saying how, why I'm not making videos. But now you get an understanding that uh, I'm 30 years old, guys. Like I, I joke a lot, but at the end of the day, like people are relying on me and I hold myself to a certain standard that, uh, you know, I want to do the best that I can at everything. And I realize that I, I can't do everything. So I'm going to focus on what I'm the best at. And that's, you know, I don't know what I'm good at, but this is why video is kind of slack. I'm trying to juggle a lot. I wish I was just home playing Fortnite all day. That's why I wasn't making videos, but just juggling a lot of plates. So, all right, see you tomorrow. <coughs> uh, oh, oh, woof, woof. Ooh, ooh, woof. Okay, go. There we go, okay. Yeah. Woof. So today is a very special day because it is Alpha Elite's five year anniversary. That basically means it's me and Christian's five year anniversary. It's so romantic. Oh my God. Ah.
five years. Five years. So I want to preface this little chat before uh, you know I, I talk to you about it. Is that I've known Christian for six years. Six years. We met at the Arnold. I mean, we we only knew each other online, but we met in person at hey, the Arnold. Friends. 2014. Uh, yeah. That's you want to tell them how I talked? Did you talk to me? I talked to you first. I was like, what kind of dumbbells do you like? I, well, I think I think you you like contacted me. You like commented on my YouTube video. Like, oh, I got to watch your videos, or you responded back to like comment on I I commented on your video, and you were like, oh, I watch your videos. That's how I knew you like mm -hmm. knew who I was, and then you started asking me about when you started doing the gym. So I've like seen every phase that you've gone through. From yeah, that's been like six years now. We've been because he was talking every day. I guess because he assumed because I had a business degree, you know, he he was like you were like because I was before you even started doing the gym, your first gym. Yeah, you were thinking about doing it, um, and then it was like then it was like what kind of dumbbell should I get? All that stuff. Well, I, I think I sent you like three options. I was like, would you prefer mm -hmm. metal ones, these rubber coated ones, or these? Yeah. So yeah, I, I have mean, a bunch of friends. Like yeah. In the entire time I've known Christian, I've I've seen every phase that he's gone through from starting the gym that was just like a personal thing versus personal training clients when you're doing the CG Fitness t-shirts mm -hmm. to like the con thinking about Alpha Lee to starting Alpha Lee and then thinking everything. Thinking about Alpha Land. Mm -hmm. e everything. So I've seen it all and it's been cool in like an inside perspective just to see like you thinking know. about Alpha Land. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, this is of it. like seeing like, like you guys <laughs> see like the, the big picture like big and, decisions but yeah. and you see his like thoughts but I see it from like a more personal uh, aspect of even when it's like a concept um, so it's just been wild to see your growth over the past five years but I wanted to just share with these people like like how had the past five years been man like Alpha Elite's grown yeah it's grown crazy but you know what's crazy is and you notice this too that like I feel like it wasn't until the last few months where things just like 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 really became really 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 intense because but maybe it was just my outlook because we were sharing an office mm -hmm. like literally a few months ago uh, and when I think when I was over there, I didn't because we had to, like two different spots distribution, and then we had our office we were sharing and stuff. But I wasn't like in the fi in the fire no. with a lot of the employees. And when I came over here, um, it's like there was sixteen thousand square feet of office space here, and I was like, God, what the hell is a waste, you know? But we're already filling it all up. Like yeah. I think it was, I don't know. The last few months have been a crazy higher like pressure workload kind of vibe. For me, but I think that leading up to that point, I was pretty pretty chilled. You know, going well, home. The, the whole like point of like the, this video that I was talking about before, I, I do like a whole thing talking about how like why I my videos are kind of like, you know, there's more and more days in between because like I'm trying to juggle more and more things mm -hmm. and taking more on my plate. And like I remember when I used to visit Christian before I moved here, uh, you know, there'd be days like I'd come and you'd be like, oh, like I'm, like, it'd be like a Tuesday afternoon and be like, I'm I'm kind of free. Like you want to go see a movie? I like, tried to play RuneScape last year, bro. Like this, this isn't. Do you ever get that fire cape? No, <laughs> no, it didn't. But it's it's like I've I've seen you go from like it, there's definitely a point in any business and any task that you like start having like under your belt where it's like you can get to a certain point and do X amount, but if you really want to jump, you wake up and you're like, okay, here's what I could do. Yeah, and and like that's like a whole nother world, and a lot of it takes like and it's easy just to be like I think a lot of people think that you can just be like oh delegate delegate delegate, but there's still so much that you have to do like. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, there's still a ton that you have to oversee, and uh, it's the analogy I made with them was like juggling so many plates, and you only have so much energy to give to each thing, so you have to decide like what to like hone in. So, like, how have how have you like focused so much on on Alphalete while you have other things that they don't even know that's you know mm -hmm. growing and I'm still figuring it out, I'd say, because I I mean that's I don't what I said I was like I have no idea what I'm doing every yeah, day. Yeah, I, I don't either. Well, I, I do, <laughs> but I mean. You kind of just prioritize, but I, I, I don't want to. It's almost like I don't want to be an example of that. I, wanna, I can't speak in it like 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 I know that because I don't. I, I'm pushing myself way too hard. I'm sort of way too thin right now. But I think that there there's a time if you want to grow, there, and that's a sacrifice. It's like okay, I know this is temporary because I'm working on setting people up and hiring and like give in creating systems and stuff. But right now, there's no, there's not many. There's aren't many systems and like. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Yeah, and, and and I think with like with social, how you took a break and you've been you know less on social, and I kind of would like to poke fun at, at a lot of people who like couldn't post as much on social. I'm like, look, I'm doing it now. Like now that I started sour strips, I'm like, oh, like I can't, I can't give. Yeah. It's like in order to make sure that the the plate of this new business doesn't fail, especially when you have people relying on you for a paycheck, for jobs, for growth, for everything. Like you kind of had to make the sacrifice of like, hey, maybe I toned down the like social aspect to make sure that everything else can 
thrive as well as it can. And that's like that. And for me, it, it sucks. She's like, that's what I, I got I, you I, to like. Yeah, yeah, that's what got me here. But it's like there's no no freaking way with. But I have a solution now. I you know, but I'm gonna get back to the two. Honestly, three videos a week is what we're gonna be doing. But it's like. I can't do that myself anymore. I can't do it like Neil and I can't just tackle it like we did last year. Yeah, we need more. We need it in order to make the same output. And you and you my, can't just like my responsibilities more. But you also like just because you have videographers, like if there's so many tasks you have to do. Oh, I do all the talking parts. Yeah, <laughs> and okay. all this, yeah. yeah. So there's still like a, a ton that you have to do, and uh, I don't know. It's, it's it's been crazy seeing your growth over the past five years, and and he motivates me a ton to, you know, keep doing what I'm doing um, at like a bigger bigger scale. So. You know what I think it is? I'm gonna write a little rant, but like, right, I think the biggest turning point for you and for me is when you kind of like, because we can go through the motions, you can get through, we can launch, we can do this and grow and, grow and do great, but it's really when you make that switch of like, but how good could I be doing? Mm -hmm. What could I be doing? And then you start thinking like, damn. And I feel like for you, when we were, I feel like when we were in that meeting, it was like like the, the it's like numbers and it's, it's like you could be and that's like fuck let's, let's just do it why not like it's yeah. just the mindset of getting it done versus like going that extra like what could be getting done you know and even for, I mean, for me shit like that's I'm, I'm if I walk around even though we're killing it record breaking I'm still like fuck there's, there's so much we still need to do it's just not where we want it to be and that's like the exciting part that's like the progress part that's the challenge part you know so it's the You've made leaps and bounds in the past five years, so what do you want? Uh, you can see my body stress just like. <laughs> <laughs> you just having like cold sweats. Uh, so like next next five years, I mean, uh, the alpha land, I haven't really talked about it that much on my, on my channel. I'm going to get into it later, but. Uh, Same. <laughs> what, th this, is a, this, this is a big move, man. Like from, yeah. from the, the first gym, it was how many square feet? Thousand? Fifteen. The gym was 900. The whole thing was like 1,500. This man had like calf raises and like a pec deck like in his like lobby yeah. because he couldn't fit anything else like he you had to in like where you could get like your, a water fountain was like the pec deck right there so going from that to what you guys are going to see unfold on his channel and i'll you know touch on it after after he explains it um the alpha land thing is just it's wild and it all starts with an idea and figuring out where to allocate your time the best and okay. getting people to that that can accent what you need. Mm -hmm. Getting specialists and and what these guys like, you know what I mean? Like our project manager is fucking great. He yeah. sees the vision. Getting picking people that can really like line up with you in that kind of thing is such a big thing, big project, you know. And where do you see Alphalete the next five years? Blowing the fuck up. <laughs> That's what I like to hear, man. <laughs> That's all you need to do. So uh, yeah, I, I just wanted like this. This whole video has been kind of a rant. It's been uh, talking about like more tasks that I've been taking on and, and delegating out things and realizing mistakes that I've been making and needing to grow and, you know, being surrounded by people like him, like Heidi, like Shawley, who's, you know, and, and everyone that I'm surrounded with, um, you know, it's, everyone's crushing it. And um, I, I think everyone has, is laser focused on what, the, what they want to do. And sometimes throughout your, your life as you grow up, like certain, it's not like interest change, it's just your focuses have to shift because certain things are requiring more of your time mm -hmm. than the like, you know, certain things you, you could have done for six hours a day before. And Instagram uh, story views get great conversion. <laughs> kidding, kidding. It's for YouTube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what it, it's so much less. It's like the effort required for YouTube is just like <laughs> versus like staying live up to date and still showing like your day and personality. You can yeah, do I don't want to go. I don't want to go into rant. That's about a different one. Instagram. Stupid. It, yeah. It, well, now YouTube is kind of it's like just. Unnecessary, almost. It feels. It feels. Yeah, but it's. I don't. It's. It's its own beast. But I feel if anyone ever is like, it's not like we. We put out, or at least me. Like it's not like if I go like a extra couple of days in YouTube video. Like you, if you want content from me in some aspect, I got. I'm. I'm on plenty <laughs> of other platforms. Like you can yeah. still see what I'm doing on Instagram and Twitter and stupid ass TikTok and stuff. And so it's just, YouTube is its own beast. And uh, I don't know. We're trying to get better. We're still on YouTube. We're still going to do YouTube, right? Yeah, yeah I've, I've just learned to... Like, YouTube? No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. And I, I keep like... Yeah, just, <laughs> just putting YouTube. Yeah, but I, this whole video was basically explaining why... Because I said like... You're feeling it now. You're feeling the pressure of like... Well, now, now it's, it's like I could balance everything with EF, but e even... I've been like... Had my ass kicked in the past like 
week or two with just like realization with even the, the potential that ever Ford could have and that it, it's like all come down because like there's things that I should be doing better within the company there's things I should be delegating more hiring more people and just like and sour soup like the potential there would mm -hmm. it, like if you're to say your six month goal versus what I think your six month goal, you know what I mean it's like that could happen now you know yeah. what I mean it, 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 so it's like getting like ready for it like okay let's go hiring people and shit yeah this whole conversation was supposed to be just kind of like talking about how his five, his, like talk about his five year growth with Alphalete in the future, but it just turned out. I think this shows though you can't even think about it because you just keep going. You keep what's next. That's the only way to like continue. Honestly, I think continue progressing. Yeah, like fuck, it's fucking sick. It's great. I love it, and like it. it but the fact that I love it so much that builds. I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing going forward if I didn't love it, and I wasn't like it's my whole life. You know? And we're a prime example of like people get people ask like I want to start this how do I do it and it's like do it do it like like we, we even today we are still learning we've been doing this for like five seven years and like every single day we're still just like we don't understand how to fully do something but we're just putting our efforts into continuing in that direction um, to achieve a goal we're not sit, we're not sitting around asking for advice on how to do something we're like learning and making mistakes and, and yeah, you just jump in really? just jump in just start Motivational talks with Christian and Max. I'm gonna go do some orders. <laughs> yeah, gotta get back to work. So thank you guys for watching this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed this rant. When's this going up? I think I think tomorrow, Monday. Go watch my channel, my video at 12 p.m. Is it gonna CST? be CST? Yes. Okay, it'll be like a couple hours after this one. I'll put a link in the description for you, dude. Oh shit, thanks. Man. Yeah, dude. See you later, guys. Wait, smash the thumbs up button, please. That was 11 minutes. This is gonna be another like 30 minute video.